Richard Southern joins us now. Once again, it looks like the price of a holiday staple has gone up. Hi, Richard. Hi, Erica. Yeah, Christmas trees. I mean, it's like the last three or four years we have the same story every Christmas. There's like a Christmas tree shortage and prices are going up and it's the same story this year. Uh, it's not though that you can't find a Christmas tree if you want one. There are some real Christmas trees, quite a few of them out there. It's just you might have trouble finding the ones you're used to. Uh, the shortage pertaining specifically, Erica, to the balsam fir Christmas tree, which is the most sought after extreme weather and labor shortages and unprecedented demand leading again to tight supplies of the balsam fir. But you can still find other types of Christmas trees. Be prepared to pay more for them, though. Tree prices have gone up about 20% over the past uh, three years, and that owes to inflation and to transportation difficulties. There's um, big uh, difficulty finding enough drivers to transport the trees. So uh, be prepared to pay up, Erica, or you can do like uh, like Erica and I do and just get the fake one, and then you right. got no <laughs> shortage and no price hikes to worry about, right, yeah, Erica? It takes a while to grow those trees, too, so, you know, th there's going to be a shortage for a while. Uh, let's talk yeah. about video games now. Sales of one particular video game, maybe one that's after our time, Richard, uh, is doing very well and even setting records. Yeah, Nintendo has a huge sales hit, Erica, and it's thanks to Mr. Pikachu and company. Uh, the latest installments of Pokemon games are selling like absolute hotcakes, says Nintendo. They have two new games in this uh, franchise out, Pokemon Scarlet, Pokemon Violet. Both have sold more than 10 million copies in just three days. These new games are a bit different in the Pokemon realm in that they're open world for the first time. You know, the video game industry on a whole really boomed during the pandemic with everyone stuck at home. Sales have moderated uh, in, in recent uh, months, and that makes this news from Nintendo all the more impressive. Also impressing is Nintendo stock, which is up more than 11% this year, outpacing many stock benchmarks, including the Japanese Nikkei 225. Of course, Nintendo based out of Japan. The company pulled the trigger on a 10 for 1 stock split. So Nintendo doing pretty good thanks to uh, all those Pokemon which I get, you kind of grew up with, but we kind of grew up with Pokemon. A little it's bit. a long term franchise, right, Erica? It, it is, yeah. yeah. The graphics on that look really great, by the way. Uh, finally, a dubious yeah. honor and title for our own Pearson Airport. Yeah, it's not an award YYZ wanted to win. Uh, it, it has been bestowed now the title of the most stressful airport in North America, Erica. <laughs> Pearson being awarded this uh, distinction by a big travel website called hawaiianislands.com. Uh, they compared it to 500 other airports in North America and YYZ apparently the most stressful. They base this on a big array of user reviews. 76% of people mentioned stress when they were reviewing Pearson Airport. And worldwide, Pearson ranked fourth in terms of stressful travel, trailing only Manchester Airport in the UK, the International Airport in Greece, and London Stansted. Should mention as well, Federal Transport Minister Omar al Galbra today met with members of the air transport sector to discuss measures to modernize and digitize the industry and to look at ways to learn from all the travel disruptions we had this summer. Of course, big long lines plaguing Pearson and making it rather stressful, yes. Erica.